As the global aviation industry continues to suffer from the aviation demand downturn, one major Chinese conglomerate, the HNA Group, recently made headlines with the announcement that it is going through some bankruptcy proceedings. Not only is it one of China's biggest business conglomerates, it also has major stakes in China's aviation industry, which is why this development has major implications for the Asian aviation industry, especially within China. To briefly fill you in what has transpired prior to this announcement, the HNA Group has been going through a debt and liquidity crisis within the last few years leading to the most recent developments. On January 29, on its website, the HNA Group released a statement acknowledging the notice it received from Hainan's High People's Court as a creditor is seeking to reorganize the company, citing that the HNA Group can't pay its debts to the said creditor, which remains unnamed in various reports. In response, the HNA Group has pledged to comply with a judicial review, and prior to this, changes were being made to the top management. Along with that, the Hainan provincial government has set up a committee to help resolve the financial situation of HNA. This is the latest round of troubles for HNA Group in recent years, after being one of the more prominent and fast growing Chinese companies during the early to mid 2010s. That was until the mid 2010s when it branched out from beyond the airline business to invest in other businesses, amounting to around 40 billion US dollars in terms of global investments. Among these companies that the HA Group invested in was Hilton and Deutsche Bank, and this overexpansion led to a liquidity crisis in 2017, when the HA Group had a reported debt of around 500 billion yuan, or around 77.8 billion US dollars. As it continued to navigate the late 2010s in a situation which saw more scrutiny from the Chinese central government, the HA Group was also affected by the COVID 19 pandemic to the point that the local government of Hainan had to step in in a bit to help solve the situation. For the time being, there is no change to the operations of the airlines under its portfolio, which the HNA Group has a strong influence in the Chinese aviation industry. Its airline holdings include 14 airlines and 900 aircraft. Among these airlines is the flagship airline of Hainan Airlines, Beijing Capital Airlines, and Tianjin Airlines. Also included in this is Hong Kong Airlines, which is going through its own financial situation and seeking help from Hong Kong city government. Along with that, the HNA Group also has stakes in the local government operations of the Haiku Milan Airport on the island of Hainan, and anything that happens to this airline group and the company will affect over 2,300 employees, not to mention a blow to the Chinese private business sector. The next few weeks and months will be a crucial part of what will happen for the future of the HNA Group and the airlines under its portfolio. Now officially declared bankrupt, it joins the list of other airlines in Asia going through bankruptcy proceedings in courts in their respective countries, with the HNA Group now being subject to the scrutiny and decisions set forth by the Chinese regulators and banks. It will not be surprising if we see layoffs in the airlines, especially at Hong Kong Airlines, which has already seen the reductions of the numbers of pilots on its payroll and highly publicized reductions in in-flight services. While the potential effects of the aviation industry in China, especially the airlines like Hainan Airlines and Hong Kong Airlines, is likely imminent, the plot is further thickening as there is revelations now that creditors are trying to gain back as much as 15 billion US dollars that may have been paid out improperly to stakeholders. This is a developing situation and something we should be watching closely, especially how the Chinese central government will handle this situation. In the meantime, I thank you for watching this. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.